Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica Rally here from Jamaica. Okay, today I'll be giving you some interesting uh, nuggets regarding fish keeping and fish care. Please stay tuned. Okay, the number one nugget is that the fact that you have to feed your fish. Why? Because you have not provided the, the ecosystem that the fish actually lived in prior to you having it yes i know you might have fish that has been bred uh specifically for the, the trade but in the wild these fish would have actually caught uh have its own food number two nuggets of the fish keeping hobby is that both dead and life plants plays a significant role in the health of your fish you see live plants help to provide hiding places and as a spawning mop for fish that lays egg it also provides a place for them to hide and to distress and most importantly it helps in the oxygenation of the water dead plants when plants die the uh, the organism which helps to decay this uh, dead plant right uh, has what you have infusion on it infusions are some very small so in some cases you, you, you can you cannot really recognize it with your naked eyes right but some small organism in which the fish do nibbles on at time the issue is when there is too much plant in the water ammonia uh, nitrates and nitrites become a problem because the water is not being filtered properly water change is only necessary because of the stocking of your your tank or pot now if you should have like let's say you have uh 50 nice middle size fish you know like 150 gallon pond or tank or even a little larger i don't think you would have to do water change um, that regularly or if any at all whereas if you have like plants in it because the ways in which these 15 fish do produce will be used by the plants for their growth also so the reason why we have filtration system is because they are overstocking that's another interesting nugget about the fish keeping hobby please know we tend to and i say we i mean including me we tend to stock our fish in the tank not necessarily because of the size but because of the color and the color variation gives us the surrounding of the tank uh aesthetic beauty that you so desire that makes you, so you base you base the stocking of the tank based on the colors and not based on the size well, another fish nugget every fish whether it be carnivore omnivore or herbivore every fish tends to nibble a little bit on algae you see algae also have some microorganism on it that may be considered as living organisms and these living organisms lives within the algae and fish may nibble at the algae so as to get at these organisms and in turn they might even consume it thus algae depends on which one that is is beneficial to the aquarium tank or pond whichever you may choose another nugget fish ten at times to know when it is ill and at times some fish may do something so as to uh, you know ensure that its health is prolonged sometimes it's really difficult for them to heal so they might die but some food in the wild some things in the wild that fish consume help to preserve their health yes that's true another nugget would you get up and eat the same meal every day i mean every day you eat the same meat rice and peas chicken rice and peas chicken orange juice fruit punch rice and every single day consider in the fish life now the fish also have some you know some likes and dislikes with regards to 
full. Some fish like the koi stick, whereas if you have actually bred the fish to, you know, be accustomed to this food, by some fish like the whole idea of hunting for their food. I am not here suggesting that you should practice uh, giving your fish feeder fish so as to, you know, bring up his diet or its diet, right? To me, and that's a different discussion. Feeder fish, I don't like. Another nugget. Did you know that some fish find it very difficult to breed beyond certain depth? And that is the reason why some fish will hover at the top, hover in the middle, or pra practically stay at the base of the pond or tank. Because this is how they are comfortable, this is how their body structure is. So the final nugget for the day is that did you know that a fish stomach is as big as its eye therefore the smaller the eyes the smaller the stomach the bigger the eyes the bigger the stomach can you imagine an oscar i hope that these nuggets these interesting facts will get your head running i hope that these interesting facts will leave you in a more understandable mode as to fish keeping and fish care do have a wonderful day Thank you very much for making the fish keep it topic. Thank you for tuning in. Do subscribe for more updates. Bye. -bye.